Boat wraps are popping up everywhere these days, and not just for marketing a brand or a company. When boats are hard to come by and used boats will destroy your bank account, many people are turning to revitalizing their old boats. Using a boat wrap is one of these ways to do so. Which is why we are going to talk about the pros and the cons of a boat wrap in this video, letting you see the ins and outs of what they're all about. We just finished having this 1999 34-foot Venture wrapped at the marina here, so it's the perfect opportunity to show you how it's done, including some numbers on the costs. Now one of the most important steps in wrapping a boat, at least if your wrap is going to last, and especially for older boats like this, is the cleanliness of the surface or the hull when the wrap gets put on. You can think of the boat wrap as basically a giant sticker of vinyl. Super durable, but if you put it on a dirty surface, it's going to come off. But once it goes on and stays on, it's protecting the outside gunnels of the boat against all the elements that make older boats look so bad. That means that all of the old decals, stickers, and paint pinstripes had to come off of the boat before the wrap could go on which can be a pretty labor-intensive task to undertake depending on what you are taking off and how long it's been on there. Stickers, decals, and paint over time adhere themselves to the gunnel to where you might have to use different methods to get them off of the boat after say 20 years of being on there. Using a strip-off wheel or a polishing pad on a drill, the easiest way is, when it works, using a razor blade and hopefully you can get these off the boat without too much work but in most cases you'll end up spending a few hours getting all of this off the boat, especially on sections like this portion down here around the waterline of the boat. When pinstripes are painted onto the boat and get slowly eaten away being so close to the waterline over time, then they don't come off as easy, like this pinstripe that just comes off in a single portion with the razor blade. Unfortunately, these types of sections have to be sanded off the boat before putting the wrap on. Then once they are all off, it's best to compound the boat. You can really see the dirt on the boat when you look up closely, comparing a section that has been compounded to a section where it has not been compounded. But this brings us into one of the pros of a boat wrap that you might not be thinking about. If you take a boat that is brand new or has been really taken care of, compound it out so that it's like brand new and then put a wrap on it, the wrap is going to be preserving the gel coat of the boat. So if you're into resale value, putting a wrap on the boat compared to compounding and waxing the gel coat two or three times a year to keep that shine to it, then cost wise, you put the wrap on once and in five to 10 years, if you take the wrap off, the gel coat underneath is going to look pretty much brand new, which might be why we're now seeing brand new boats from the factory coming with wraps on them. And not like super fancy wraps either, just a single or two-tone colored wrap. But one of the biggest downsides to a wrap, or probably the most well-known con to wrapping a boat, is that the wraps can tear. Though they can be repaired, if you are a pretty aggressive docker and like to utilize your rub rails when you hit the dock, then you'll be at a pretty high risk of tearing your wrap. As well as other things like anchor chains, gaffs, super hard fenders, or anything else that you can find hitting the side of the boat can potentially put a tear in the wrap which is pretty noticeable from afar. But in the same breath, if you don't have a wrap, you're going to have scratches all over the gel coat on the boat anyway, which are just as noticeable. Making another pro to a wrap where you can take an old boat that has a bunch of marks on the hull and just fill all the spots on the hull to smooth them out then cover them up with a wrap. Then no one will even know that the gel coat of the boat is all marked up because when it comes to the cost of respraying an entire hull with gel coat, you are talking about sanding it down, filling in all the marks, smoothing them out, then respraying the hull, which can get into the thousands of dollars depending on the size of the boat and the extent of the damage we are talking about when it comes to the repair. Putting things down into a price comparison to respray a 30 foot boat you're probably in the range of three to $5,000, depending on the extent of the project and where you are located for labor rates and quality. This can of course range well above that, even a few thousand dollars more based on the materials used. 
but in general, that is about the cost that you're going to be looking at for the fiberglass and gel coat work. In comparison to the vinyl wrap, where this price can also range quite a bit based on the material that you use, who puts it on, and whether or not you get a graphic designer involved to put a bunch of artwork onto the wrap or logos or names using a lot more ink from the printer and driving the price up. So for general numbers and terms, for a single color wrap of say a good product like a 3M vinyl wrap, which is going to be the most durable, then you are going to be looking at anywhere from $1,200 up to around two grand for a 21 foot boat. Then for say a 30 foot boat, you'd be looking above that up to around the three grand mark and up to a 40 footer closer to that four or $5,000 mark, which makes the price of the wrap super comparable and even possibly cheaper in some instances than it would be to repaint the entire outside hull of the boat. Not to mention that a wrap can usually be put on with say two people in just a few hours in the morning. Then you'll want to let it set for 24 hours and then be ready for the water the next day. Compared to painting or gel coating, which can take upward to one or a couple of weeks depending on who is doing the job. Now there are literally thousands of people putting on wraps these days too, so everyone has their own style in putting the wrap on and what they charge is going to vary greatly as well as what materials they use when doing the job. We had Jordan with wraps on right from the Sarasota area in Florida put the wrap on the Venture and they did a fantastic job, super quick and efficient. Once we got the boat all prepped out, they pretty much came in and laid the cutting tape on the boat and then laid the vinyl onto the sides of the boat, working the wrap on and squeegeeing it out onto the sides of the boat. Then once the wrap was all on the boat, they just pulled the tape line to get rid of all the excess of vinyl and leave a nice clean line around the boat. then came back with the sealer to seal the edges of the wrap to make sure that it keeps water from getting up under the wrap over time, making it a solid install. Now we still need to repaint the bottom of the boat, which will bring the paint line up to the edge of the wrap and even go over the wrap by an eighth of an inch or so to seal it even more. But all in all, it's a great and quick way to revitalize a boat that's got an old faded looking hull. Whether that be to cover up the old gel coat or to just protect the gel coat for use with the plan of removing the wrap when it comes time to resell the boat. You can also get clear vinyl to put on the boat if you want to keep the original color of the gel coat on the boat and protect that gel coat without having to keep reapplying ceramic coatings or wax every few months depending on whatever product you are using. So there are many different pros to putting a wrap onto a boat. Outside of the two major cons that I can come up with when it comes to doing the wrap being the fact of the cost and the matter where it can definitely be torn when hit with any kind of an object, but the cost is definitely comparable to painting or gel coating and you can always get a patch made for the wrap if it gets torn. So I guess those aren't deal breakers for me when it comes to the cons of the project. Something else that's nice though is that you can change up the color scheme fairly quickly and easily to your boat whenever you want to which if the money isn't an issue, then that's a great option. But you let me know what you think in the comments section below and check us out at bornagainboating.com.